Hey you, my name is Ruby Price and if you have seen my new series a week ago, you will have seen that I did a little bit of filming with the amazing Stephanie Hurst. If you haven't seen that video, please go and check it out, there will be a link in the description. And if you have seen that video, you can then carry on watching this video. So we talked a bit about new music, the BBC being part of British culture, and a tiny bit about the rapper Ice-T. If you do enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. Maybe leave a little bit of a comment. What did you think about the topics that we were discussing? And yes, please check out my new weekly vlogging series a week ago. And also you should probably listen to the Stephanie Hurst show, if you can, on BBC Radio Leeds. So I'm here with Stephanie Hurst. Hi. BBC Radio Leeds DJ. We were just discussing, you mentioned that you were all about giving opportunities to music. Are there any up and coming bands that you think are probably going to be the next big thing? Here at the BBC we don't think our BBC introduce it and uh, there's one across Yorkshire and one across Manchester as well because I work here at BBC Radio Leeds and I also work at BBC Radio Manchester as well and um, I heard a band, they're from Doncaster and they're called The Blinders and they did a live session for BBC Introducing that was just a door that was closing <laughs> and um, I thought they were fantastic and they've started to really build now Yeah, those are, those are really good but I love new music. I've yeah. always loved it. But I love old music because I love any kind of music. It doesn't matter what genre it is, how old it is. If it's a tune, it's a tune. And I love like delving into singer songwriters' back catalogues and stuff that I've probably, stuff I've never heard. Yeah. Um, probably legendary artists as well. Stuff that probably didn't really have massive chart success or early albums. Yeah. And you, you tend to discover loads of little gems that the public of not kind of owned or yeah. something like that. Uh, but then, I, like I say, I, lo I love new music. So, yeah, big fan of music. Love the tunes. Mm. Love, love the, the tunes. tunes. Have you had a good week on work experience? Yeah, so far it's been amazing. Yesterday I was doing a, a demo for one of the shows that's going on and then they really liked the chemistry that I had with the presenter. So they said, we should get you back in a couple of weeks. Yeah. And my face just lit up. I think <gasps> they could tell that that made me quite happy. There is something about radio as we sit here in the BBC. In the BBC. And, uh, the Bubaka. In the Bubaka, the Barnsley Brocade Company. And uh, yeah, there's something about it. And it's, um, I mean, I've, I've worked for the BBC for, what, three years? Something like that. I've worked for it for three days. Three days. And yeah, I love it. And it is, there's something, there's something great about, you know, when you walk in to the BBC. I worked in commercial radio for, God, 20 odd years and although that's great and I adore my time you know I've got yeah. I'm fiercely you know protective of, of commercial radio and I think there's some incredible talent in there but I think one of the first ever corporations as a kid you become aware of the BBC is the BBC yeah you know whether that's through when we were kids children's BBC whether it's Blue Peter or something like that and yeah. now CBBC CBeebies Babies, yeah. Obviously, so I'm guessing probably the first channel that kids become aware of is the a BBC, BBC channel. That's yeah. another door. And um, <laughs> so yeah, there's something really, there's something really wonderful about it. It's BBC. ingrained into British culture. It is. It is. It's. It is. It's an institution. For sure. <laughs> for sure. I keep saying for sure. <laughs> for sure. For sure. And now I'm doing metal because I can't do West Side. Wait, what's West it. Side? West Side is. What side is that? But so I um a bit was, like Spock, but that yeah one. yeah it's a bit like that yeah. Anyway, I um I was once with the rapper Ice T. Ice T. Mm. And um we we were at the London studios, and we were out the back with a lot of other friends and stuff. And he'd been on a friend of mine's uh, TV show, and. Uh, I got a picture with him because my friend wanted a picture with him, so I thought, oh well, I'll have one as well. And there's a picture of me and the rapper Ice T. He's doing West Side. I'm doing metal. Well, right. Ice T, if this is a particularly interesting anecdote, did uh, team up and collaborate with a metal band for a did cover it? of, oh, what's the song? Turn down for what? Really, I never knew really? that. Yeah. See, learning to forget about music. <laughs> never knew that. Yeah, it's a. Really interesting cover because I think they added more lyrics to it. To keep doing that with my fingers. That's better. It don't really work, does it? No. 
Yeah, it's a bit anyway. So yeah, but um, yeah, I'm glad you. I'm, and it's brilliant the fact that you, you know, you've come to the BBC. You're doing a week's worth of work experience. And because you're working across all different areas of radio in here, yeah. you're going to get a, a you know a, a broad spectrum of different things that you might be able to excel at. You know, it gives you the chance to kind of see every every single department, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely. Um, I've been with reporters. I've been with you. I've been. That's where you learn the bad habits. <laughs> if I'm ever on the radio doing bad habits, it started today. It started today. It started. Nineteenth of September. <laughs> yeah. Because your tripod work with your right arm's not very good. <laughs> I guess the last thing for me to ask is, can I have a hug? Gosh, can. Oh. And that was my chat with Stephanie Hurst at BBC Leeds on Wednesday last week. So, yeah. If you're still watching this, thank you for sticking around and watching the video. And I hope to see you next time. Adios. Bye. Now you got this weekly vlogging series thing, people are going to know how really last minute your videos are, Rubes.